So seriously, what the hell? We complain we can't be seen on the road. We complain that people don't notice us. And then all the gear is designed to blend into the background. So let's talk about it. Colors, styles, basic safety gear as opposed to serious riding gear. Come on, the market is seriously lacking. Why don't we have hot weather casual gear for places where it's 100 degrees, 110 degrees on a regular basis? This is not the gear you're using for a, a serious ride. This is the gear you're wearing riding to the grocery store, coffee shop, the mall, whatever. You're, you're going to meet some friends. It's not about the ride, it's about the destination. But you would like to wear some protection. But if you're going to be sitting at stoplights and be going 30 miles an hour, and it's literally over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you kind of got to choose, right? Like, how much protection can you really wear before you get there looking like a drowned rat? Now, there used to be a shirt called The Rival. It was a long sleeve t-shirt with some aramid protection built in. Uh, I believe Speed and Strength made it. It got discontinued recently. Not available. You can get it on eBay in a couple sizes these days. But it was always very limited. Gray and black. Kind of looked like the thing like a you know, church softball team would wear. Why are there not more lightweight hoodies like what I'm wearing right now? Okay. They'd give me other colors, like not just this blue, and a little more protection. This is awful thin. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt under this, but single layer, really thin. It's not quite a rash guard, but it's not, there's no real protection. Uh, from my perspective, I wear this when I'm riding around town and I'm running errands, where I'm not going to be going more than like 35 miles an hour. And what I'm really worried about is going down and just a little bit of tumble. Not, I'm not worried about a real slide. I'm just trying to avoid you know, having every rock that I touch dig into me, every little bit of pavement ripping skin off. This is going to hold up way better than a cotton t-shirt, right? But I can wear this instead of wearing a, you know, a riding shirt that's basically a jacket that I'm going to be melting in. Why don't we have more of them? Uh, Under Armour makes plenty of different weight of these kind of things. Other companies make plenty of these. This is not a hard product to make. They're extremely popular down here. They're extremely popular in a huge chunk of the world in various styles, not just in the US in this particular style, but in other styles around the world in hot environments. This is a current fashion. This is something people wear anyway. Why not build it with maybe an extra layer to here? And it's only from like here down to here and across the shoulders. And then everywhere else it's single layer. Uh, maybe make it out of a slightly tougher material as opposed to this very fine weave. This is probably 100 denier, 200 denier. I don't know what they really, maybe if it's even 300. It's not super light, but it's really thin material. Make it out of four or five, 600 denier, but not the really thick, stiff one. Um, I don't know. I, I don't understand why it doesn't already exist, so maybe I'm missing something. If you told me I could have this with protection in between this and my Revit Eclipse that's $150, $180 I think for the new version, without the armor, forget the armor, I could get in between those two for $100 and I could get it in some decent colors, not gray, black, silver, and blue, dark blue. Like, I could get it in orange, I don't know, maybe yellow, red, something, you know, cool patterns. Like, why is it so limited? A hundred bucks, no problem. Last a season? That's fine. And I mean a season of a real use, not I wore it five times. 
I don't understand why there aren't more. It does not e need to be even A-rated. I am not looking for this to meet safety regulations as real riding gear. I'm looking for this to be better than nothing. I'm looking for something to be better than the t-shirt that people actually end up wearing, right? Because when it's 100 plus degrees and you are not going fast enough to generate any freaking airflow, you're gonna be stopped at every other light, you're gonna be at every intersection, it's too hot for real riding gear. Uh, it's just really brutal. Now that's fine if it's just to get to the highway or to the back road and then you dry off in the wind. It's not fine when that's the whole ride and you would like to be presentable at the other end. Um, now I would want the styling to be mostly neutral, not to be motorcycle specific. You could do thumb holes. This doesn't have them, but it you know, should. Um, you could do thumb holes. You could do a pocket for your cell phone. Um, you know, these are things that are handy because when we're sitting down on the motorcycle, depending on the motorcycle, it you know, these are useful. Um, but I don't want it to scream motorcycle. I want it to be something that people wear, even if they don't ride. I sell this in you know, Target. Sell it in Bass Pro. Sell it at Walmart for all I care. Uh, now remember, this is not something for a serious ride. This is something when you're riding at most 5 out of 10. You're just trying to get somewhere and, and doing your thing. You just want more protection than street clothes, than basic street clothes, right? These are for the days when you're wearing literally, you're, you're compromising and actually wearing a pair of regular jeans and not riding jeans, but not shorts, because you want the additional airflow regular jeans have. It's still better than nothing, right? You still made the choice to wear long pants, but you weren't willing to deal with, with the no airflow of full-on riding pants, and you can't wear mesh pants because you look like a dork at the other end. They're great if you're on a regular ride. If at the other end, you've got to get off the bike and do real-life stuff, now, we've already talked about it a little bit, but my second part of this, my second pet peeve, and it may even be more of one than the first one. I talked about it in my intro. What the heck is with riding your colors? Seriously. We complain that they can't see us, that the drivers don't see us, and they drive right in front of us, and they back into us, and they do all sorts of stupid stuff because they do not see us. So why is all of our freaking gear designed to blend into the goddamn road. Seriously. Pops of reflectivity? How about you draw a damn person on a motorcycle on my back in reflective material that is only visible when hit by headlights? Just saying. Why not? Modern technology lets you do that in a way that, well, other than headlights, it's invisible. I don't have to look at it on my gear. But when somebody is pulling up behind me, they can absolutely see it and they go, oh shit, right? I don't understand. I have a riding jacket, my Scorpion uh, XO Optima. I love the jacket. It's a bit budget, but it does every job it's supposed to do really well. Except I bought it in red and silver. And I thought, well, silver, gray, whatever it's supposed to be. I thought, hey, that'll be more visible than any of the other options except the, the high-vis version. Except that the silver and gray area might as well be dark gray. It, it doesn't pop unless you're hitting it with solid, bright light. And even then, it doesn't pop. It's the same color as a concrete road. It, it's just there. When it gets rained on, it gets darker, harder to see, blends in with, oh, I don't know, wet pavement? I don't understand. The total reflectivity they put on this is a couple strips of reflective material that honestly don't seem to work that well. Um, can we triple the amount? Can we put a strip across my shoulders? Can we, I don't know, put something on the sides more, on the front more? Like, I don't understand. Because remember, on the front, I'm not always on the bike. I could be standing at the side of the road with a dead bike facing traffic. I would like to be a little more visible. 
um, you can build this in to jackets in a way that is more visible to people. Got a leather jacket? You can put striping that outlines the human shape. It doesn't have to be their outline. It can just be a humanoid shape. It could be the buttons reflect just right and and you, you've you got a strip down the middle and some over here. It, just something that doesn't just blend in. Little pops of reflectivity could be anything. When you're driving down the side of the road, how many bright things are you looking at? They're everywhere. Everywhere. There is a piece of glass over there. There's a sign over there. There's a light bulb over there. One more doesn't do anything unless it looks like a person. It looks like an animal in the road, right? A little pop of reflectivity in a rainstorm doesn't mean jack. Everything's reflective. The whole world is reflective when it's wet. Why is this so hard for them to figure out? The construction world, the road crew world, has it figured out. They wear reflective suits that people used to think they were, you know, dorky and they were obnoxious and nobody wanted to wear them. Now, it's a freaking fashion statement. It, it's like plate carriers for, for combat guys became a fashion statement for freaking rappers. Why can we not get regular riding gear, comfortable, normal riding gear, that's stylish and otherwise looks good, in designs that also make us safer? And e even if we ignore the safety, why is my only fashion option lousy? If I go buy athletic wear, and I know I don't look like I buy athletic wear, but, but say I go buy athletic wear, I got color options, man. I go buy stuff for, for boating and for you know skiing, patterns and colors galore, style, whatever I want. Motorcycle gear, it, it's freaking boring. I don't understand. Design the jacket and then sell it for different things depending on how you build out the interior of the jacket. The outer layer, I don't care. It's irrelevant. You can make that look like whatever you want, right? You are stitching that onto a chassis that has my armor in it. You can make that outer pattern out of anything. Give us some options that are not so boring and aren't race motorcycle oriented. My, the only options I ever see that have color and style and fashion to them seem to be either hardcore European skinny model boy and yes, that's supposed to be slightly mocking because most of us don't look like that, even in Europe. Or it, it's pure sport bike guys. It's like the Dainese stuff where it's their, their logo, gigantic, and you look like you're about to go on the racetrack. If I'm riding to the grocery store, that, that's stupid. If I'm riding to the coffee shop, and I'm going to go sit there and edit, it looks stupid. The gear's great. Is it protective? Yeah, I love it. Is it comfortable? Sure. But I look like an idiot. I'm getting off a naked sport bike that has 300 cc's and not even really that, 286. And I was literally going 30 miles an hour. I look like an idiot. I would rather the jacket look good enough that I didn't bother taking it off when I got to my destination. Make it look good. Old school motorcycle jackets looked good. But we can have more options these days. We really can. Anyway. Take care, have fun, stay safe, and enjoy the ride, guys. Feel free to chime in, your thoughts, your opinions. If you are familiar with the internals of the market, uh, my only guess is that financially it is cost prohibitive for these companies to offer enough options because they don't sell them. My answer to that is, have you tried? Because if you offer options, people might buy them. If you offer one lousy option, it's hard to sell. I would challenge you to work with UA. Uh, if you're a Revit, if you are a Dainese uh, icon, work with UA to build a hoodie, that a pullover hoodie, no armor, none. I don't want any armor. I want this to be non-motorcycle. 
but I want it to be two-thirds A, <laughs> abrasion protection, okay? I want it to be a little stretchy so that I can buy a size that is fitting without being snug, but then when I get on a bike, it has some give, some movement, so that I can get in position and not feel like it's getting tight. Uh, has venting, is comfortable in hot weather, looks good, is comfortable off the bike that I can wear it the rest of the time. It should be my main hoodie, right? I should be able to buy three of them in different colors and have them be my hoodies for most of the year, unless I need something really warm. And then when I get on the bike to go around town, it's better than nothing. Anyway, I'm out.